Okay, I've had a question on uh, refilling these tall Zama lighters because, uh, you know, when they're, these things got large tanks on them, guys, so it, it, this one here doesn't even, I've never, this, these are mine, I haven't even converted them over, still got the regular flame in it, I haven't, still got this uh, sticker residue and stuff on there, so I haven't even, uh, put anything in these these tanks here but uh, bear in mind that when I take these out and repair them they got a lot and the valve the filler valve for instance I put it back there's a lot of air in these a lot of air okay so let's go with uh, let me show you something here there's nothing in there okay there's nothing at all so there the air coming out all right gotta do this little by little. This one here I think has a little bit of a leaky filler valve, but well it's sealed up. What is that, number three? You can't just hold it on there and try to fill it all up when you start butane starts spitting out at you, let off of it. And uh, bleed it up. This is probably what here, number four. And just uh, remove the air out and keep going. You got to do this on these tanks because these are big tanks, guys. And there's a lot of air in there, and you got to put something in there, some liquid uh, butane, uh, to put a little pressure in there to blow uh, to get the air out. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to keep doing this process and I'll keep doing it to show you and we don't know. This is the same, this just doesn't go for this lighter but it goes for any butane lighter. start feeling it getting cold the butane's coming up but it's not full yet you say well how do you know it's full I'll tell you how you know it's full and you'll be able to see here in a moment so you just hear you just hear air coming out of there that's all you're hearing just kind of just pull it you know you can hear the air being evacuated out of there. It just takes time because this thing holds, these tall Zamas hold about 14 grams of butane. Once you get it full the first time, which it shouldn't take near as long, but when I sold these, I usually send them out with a full tank that way. 
people wouldn't have to do this. A lot of guys would. You might think it's full, but it's not. I usually too. I'm getting a lot of excess blowback. You see this pin right here in the middle of this door valve. It's got a little hole in the side of it. Okay. And uh, what I usually do is I usually use uh, I usually use this here. See, it's got a little hole in the middle. Now, and what I usually do is I center it up there and I push it down to where. Sometimes you got to push it down over that pin to get that hole to spread out a little more. Hole needs a little, be a little bigger on this valve. There we go. Push it down over like that, and put your butane on there. Hopefully, get this done for my. Keep doing this until you get there. We go. You keep doing this and got a lot of air out of it. You keep doing this until you get a solid stream of butane blowing out, blowing out the side of these holes here on this one. Okay, now I, I recommend this here too. Get it off eBay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Might be getting close. Not yet. Keep going. There it is. See it? See it coming out there now? Alright, that's almost. It's getting close to the top. Now, let's see what we got here. There we go. There's still a little air in there, so I'm going to purge it out. What you want is a solid, you know, butane, not a little spurty. You want a solid uh, splurt coming out there. All right, let's see what happens here. There we go. Yep. All right, when you start seeing that come out the side, you're good. As far as changing the flint on this, just pull it like that. And unscrew this lid, or unscrew this little screw right here. Alright. Unscrew that little screw. And, you know, there's a flint. Take another flint in. And screw it back. And push that back in. Shut your lid. Throw a little more in this. Now listen too, if you break that pin off in there, it ain't a big deal. So don't worry about it. There'll still be a hole on the bottom there you'll be able to see. There you go. That's what you want. You, you gotta keep doing that, purging the air, until you see butane just coming out here. That means when you press down on it and there's nothing but butane coming out, that means all the air is evacuated from the lighter tank. So you might have to be, this is on any butane lighter, okay? All right. Fortunately, I'm going to take this lighter apart, so I just wasted 14 grams of butane. Oh, I took the flint out of there, but here. I don't even know if this lighter works. 
seen to be honest with you, so you know it does. Needs a little bit. There you go. Vince, I just filled this up. You know the gas isn't stabilized yet, okay? So anyway, that's how you fill it up. Alright. Easy do. Alright, now what I got you online here. Uh, a little something interesting I found at a yard sale. Found this box, seen this box at the yard sale. Well, hey, you know, that's a pretty cool box. So I thought I might be able to use that to store some stuff in. So I opened it up and look what I got here. Calibri. It must be an old Calibri box but I store my four Savinelli tall pipe lighters and my new in the box small Savinelli lighter in it and if you want to know how to store your lighters take the butane out of them and where you store them at get you one of these here okay all right this in here you can reactivate it by putting it in the oven and whatnot and drying it out and uh, what I usually do is just keep my stuff in a box here. And uh, set uh, that uh, stuff in there. Put my Zama tolls in there. I do have my only Calibri, or my only Zama lighter I kept for myself. This is it. The only one I kept. Just so I got a copy in case I need to do a video or something on it for somebody. Anyway, I do really recommend this. The reason I like about this is it, it just it's good in the hands. It's got a double hole, one on each side, 180 degrees from each other. So when butane comes out and it, and it shows, it'll spur out both of these and you know you're full. Alright guys, hope that helps.